In this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to solve weight-based dosage calculations. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploaded videos. Okay, let's get started. Let's look at this first problem together. A child is to receive 25 mg per kilogram per day of cephalexin in divided doses every 8 hours. How many milligrams would a 44-pound child receive per dose? Is it A, B, C, or D? The first step to solve this problem is to convert the weight from pounds to kilogram. So to convert a weight from pound to kilogram, you're going to divide the weight by 2.2. So 44 divided by 2.2, that's 20 kilograms. Now you can calculate how many milligrams of cephalexin needed per day. Because you know the dose is 25 milligram per kilogram per day. And you now have the weight in kilogram. So it's going to be 25 times 20, so that's 500 milligram. Next, we can calculate how many milligram of cephalexin per dose. We just calculated how many milligram per day. Now, it's in divided doses every eight hours, so that means three times a day. So if we have the milligram per day to calculate the milligram per dose, when we know that it's been given three times per day, it's going to be 500 divided by three, and the answer will be 166.7 milligrams. Let's look at another problem. A prescription calls for 20 milligram per kilogram of a drug for a patient who weighs 198 pounds. How many milligram of the drug should the patient receive? Now, take a moment, try to solve this, and then write your answer in the comments below, and then we'll solve it together. Okay, let's see if you got it right. So the first step here is to convert the patient's weight from pounds to kilogram. So it's going to be 198 pounds divided by 2.2, and that's 90 kilograms. Then we can calculate how many milligram of the drug the patient should receive. We know that it's 20 milligram per kilogram, and we have the patient's weight, that's 90 kilogram. So that's going to be 20 times 90, and that's going to be 1,800 milligrams. This is our last problem. A patient weighing 198 pounds is prescribed an oxaparin, 1.5 milligram per kilogram daily. The pharmacy has available pre-filled syringes that have a concentration of 150 milligram per ml. How many ml should be administered per day? Again, pause the video, try to solve the problem, drop your answer in the comments below, and then we'll break it down together. What is the first step? You know it. We need to convert the weight from pounds to kilogram. So it's going to be 198 divided by 2.2, that's 90 kilogram. Next, the, the next step would be to calculate how many milligrams of enoxaparin needed per day. So we know it's 1.5 milligram per kilogram per day. So if we multiply 1.5 by 90, that's going to give us 135 milligram per day. Now, in the previous two problems, they would ask us how many milligram needed. In this problem, you're being asked how many ml should be administered per day. So you have one extra step. So to calculate how many ml to be administered per day, you can solve this using ratio and proportion. So the way you're going to set up your ratio and proportion, it's going to be 150 milligram over 1 ml equals 135 milligram over x. So x then equals 135 divided by 150, and that's going to be 0.9 ml of enoxaparin needed per day. That's it for today. 
please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. And drop any questions you have in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.